Welcome to Learn Computer Science Online.com. And in this video, we are going to discuss a simplified introduction to the computer system. This video tutorial is specially designed for the beginners to learn the fundamental concepts related to computer. We will study the definition of computer, various components of computer system, important characteristics and features of computer, and how computer works. Let us start with a simple introduction to the computer system. A computer system is defined as a programmable electronics device that can be programmed to accept the input data, then process this input data as per the program instructions. The computer then presents the processed data to the user as an output. The user can utilize the processed data for some meaningful work. The computer system mainly consists of two types of components. The first type is called the hardware components and the second type is called the software components. The hardware components are the physical parts of the computer, such as keyboard, display monitor, mouse, CPU cabinet, and other such parts. The computer system needs two types of software components to function. The first type is called the application software and the second type is called the system software. The application software is directly used by the system user to perform different tasks on the computer, such as Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. Whereas the system software is a special type of software that is internally used by the computer itself to manage and operate the various hardware components connected to the system. The operating system is the most important system software used by the computer. The operating system basically provides an interface to the user to interact with the system. Let us now understand the architecture of the computer system in terms of the functional units. The entire functioning of the computer can be grouped into various functional units. Let us understand some important functional units of the computer system with the help of a computer block diagram. The computer system working can be grouped into four major units. Each unit performs a specific function in the working of a computer. The four major units of the computer units are first, input unit, second, memory unit, third, central processing unit, also commonly referred to as CPU, and the fourth unit is called output unit. The input unit consists of various input devices connected to the computer system such as keyboard, mouse, scanner. The main function of the input unit is to accept the data received from the input devices. The next unit is called memory unit. The computer memory unit consists of different types of memories used to store the data and the program instructions during the program execution. The computer uses different types of memories such as disk memory, random access memory called RAM, cache memory, and the CPU memory registers. The next unit of the computer is called the central processing unit and it is abbreviated as CPU. The CPU is also commonly referred to as processor or a microprocessor. The CPU is the brain of the computer and provides the processing power to the computer system. The main function of the CPU is to execute the computer program. The fourth unit of the computer is called the output unit. The output unit consists of various output devices connected to the computer system such as display monitor, printer, projector and other output devices. The main function of the output unit is to present the processed data by the computer all right. So far we have discussed various functional units of the computer. Let us now move on to the next topic, that is, important characteristics of the computer system. The computer system has four important characteristics. These characteristics are, first, speed, second, accuracy, third, storage, fourth,
fast decisions, and fifth, ability to perform repeated tasks. The computer can operate at very high speed. The computers can also operate, with remarkable accuracy, without any mistake. The computer also provides, different types of storage devices, to store, the large volumes of data. The processor inside the computer, is designed to take fast decisions, as per the program instructions. Similarly, the computer can work continuously, and repetitively perform the programmed operations, without any break. Let us now move on to the next topic, that is, important features of the computer system. The computer system has some important features. These features are, first, the computer is a programmable. The term programmable means, each task performed by the computer, is directed by the set of instructions. This set of instructions, is called as, a computer program. The computer program directs the computer system, to perform specific operations. In other words, the computer will perform the task, only as per the program instructions. Second, the computer is used, to process the data. The data processing is one of the most common use of the computers. The computer process the raw data, and, produces the information. The data cannot be meaningfully used in the raw form. The raw data needs to be first converted to process data, so that, it can be used for some meaningful work, such as, decision making within an organization. Third, the computer is digital electronic machine. The computer is called a digital electronic machine, because it contains electronic components, and, computer needs an electric current to operate. The term digital simply means, the computer understands, the language of, only zero, and one, called, the binary number system. The computer can understand and execute instructions, written only in binary. These instructions are called, machine instructions. The machine instructions in binary, consist of, only two numeric numbers, that is either zero, or one. The CPU can execute the program instructions encoded in machine language. The machine instructions, consist of, sequence of only two numeric numbers, that is, either zero, or one. The binary code, is also referred to as, machine code or machine language. The computer's microprocessor works as a brain. The processor performs all the arithmetic calculations, and also handles, the logical operations. The program compilation, is another important fundamental concept related to the computer, that you should be aware of. The computer programs are written, using any high-level, human-readable programming language such as C language, Java, and Python. However, the computer processor can decode, and execute instructions, only in machine code in binary. So, it doesn't really matter, in which high-level, programming language you write the program code, because eventually, all high-level computer programs, must be first converted to low-level machine code in binary, that CPU can directly execute. The compiler is used to translate, the high-level program, into low-level machine code in binary. This conversion process is called, the program compilation. For more information on this topic, please read the detailed article, on our website, learncomputerscienceonline.com, for more details. Alright, that brings to the end of this tutorial on, Introduction to Computer System, and some its important features. In this tutorial, we have discussed in detail, some important the fundamental concepts, related to the computer. We have also studied, the definition of computer, various components of computer system, important characteristics, and features of computer, and, how computer works. If you have liked this video, then, please give us a thumbs up, and, consider, subscribing, to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon, with another interesting computer science tutorial.